Hi, I'm Gary. I'm a 76-year-old kid who, prior to the COVID-19 breakout, was an Apple specialist at a very large electronics retail store. Now, I am a furlonged employee along with 52,000 others from my prior company. I suffered through the stay-at-home for months before I realized I was wasting away in terms of muscle mass and getting weaker by the week. But the gyms were closed and it was scary walking or running around the lake near me with others out there as well. Then I thought about riding my bike, which would keep me moving and within the social distance suggested by doctors. Normally, that would be the solution, except that I leave my home on the bike and it's very easy going down the hill to the trails near where I live. However, the trip home, after a 10 or 20 mile challenging ride, becomes a ride to my death, riding uphill for two and one half miles. Okay. Should I load my bike in the car and drive to the trails and park and ride and load my bike back in the car and drive the two and a half miles home to unload my bike again? Way. How about an electric bike? They have pedal assist, meaning when you start to pedal harder, like up the hill, the motor kicks in and helps climb the hills as you try even harder. Wow! Is this really a thing? I did my research and found a few e-bikes, that's what they're called, and I chose a stark drive e-bike which met my needs ideally. Front and rear disc brakes, fenders as it rains a lot here, front and rear lights, the rear being a brake light as well. It has front and rear suspension and a 350 watt motor and a battery capable of 40 miles with pedal assist ride and a top speed of 26 miles per hour. I did add a few things of my own like a bell which is far more polite than the horn that is uh, comes with the bike. I added a kickstand that mounts in the middle of the bike and holds the bike upright rather than slanting off to one side like the kickstand it came with. It's a heavier bike than a standard bike, and I found it tipping over easily when the original kickstand was used. I also added a flashing rear light, which is safe on the roads even during the day. I also added some locking hubs, which replaced the quick-release hubs, only to keep thieves from stealing my front wheel or seat when locked up in front of a store. I also got some saddlebags that are very handy for carrying groceries and things like that from the store. When you're on a longer ride from town to town, you can carry locks, tubes, battery chargers, things like that. All of these items are li listed below so you can see the prices and pick some up if you feel you need it. I also got a little cushiony seat since I ride sitting back rather than hunched over the uh, handlebars for wind resistance. I am so proud of my purchase and the enjoyment I get out of riding up and down the hills of Connecticut.